everyone hello so I'm back with a new tutorial in this tutorial I'll be telling you about how to simply program ATS 889 S52 that is 8051 microcontroller using an Arduino board well the topic looks a very hectic one but don't worry it's a very simple topic and you're gonna learn it in minutes from right now alright just follow me and you will be a master of it all right so without wasting any time we will move on to the first step the first step is what all softwares do we require for this all right the first software that we require is keel mu vision 5 i won't describe this keel mu vision 5 for what it is used generally but i will just tell you the names of the software what i'm gonna be using in this video that is the first one is keel mu vision 5 the second one is the Arduino IDE software and the third thing what I'll be using here the third thing what I'll be using the Arduino IDE software here right here alright and the third thing that we require is AVR dude dot configuration file ah seems very 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 tough for you don't worry I will give the link for each of the softwares in the description below so that I can you can easily download this software that is the kill vision and that is the Arduino IDE software and if you have any doubt you can just comment in the comment section below alright so without moving any or without wasting any time we will move on to the next step the next step is opening this kill vision alright so before actually sorry my bad before opening this uh, kill vision create a new folder on this desktop and name this new folder as 8051 that's correct create a new folder and rename it as 8051 all right so now we are set to go for the first step we have opened the kill mu vision 5 software now the first step that you do here is go to the project go to the click the new vision project new project here give the file a name alright so we have already uh, created a folder on our desktop that is named as 8051 so we are already into it alright so just all I have to do is write the file name that is LED blink I will just write it LED blink here and just save this file alright I will save this file in the yes you are getting into it I will save this file into the 8051 folder on the desktop save now after you press the save button you will find yourself on this dialog box that is select device for a target target one all right so in this box particularly in this box you have to find the word at mel a t m e l oh i found it but uh, the only problem is it has wireless and mu c extension okay what is it uh, don't care don't care about it just click on it what do you find nothing gets open all right so this atmel link is wrong go to the search bar type a t so you'll find yourself in this section this is the microchip section so in this microchip section that is the IC section find the word 889s52 yes correct 889s52 so I have to go down I have to go down here 889lp ls lv s4 s5 now I think I'm close to it here we go that's correct this is 889s52 so you have selected it this is a description if you want or if you're a good reader or you want some extra information you can read this complete three line definition or we can say the features of it that of the 889s52 all right so after you select it press ok you will find yourself on this uh, dialog box just press no all right don't read it just press no because we don't want to create a startup of this project because we haven't already coded the project yet so how will you start up all right so just press no here all right so you will find yourself uh, on this uh, area that has 
named as the project area and in this project area whatever the name you have saved before on the desktop is this LED blink alright so now we will start coding go to file go to new now you will have to type the whole of the code here lengthy isn't it so don't worry I will just give you the link of the code here and all you have to do is just copy paste life simple isn't it <laughs> so I've done it already for you in the notepad here selected it already just control C and here control plus V yes now we have pasted our code here alright so after you paste our code here alright so just go to the file press save now all you have to do is type your projects name here again LED blink now I will type blinking okay so till this point it must be clear to you now you must be wondering why I didn't press save there's a reason behind it you don't have to store the file name as LED blinking only because here it is already been created here alright here it's already been created so you don't have you don't you don't have to just uh, leave it here what extension you have to add is dot C this is the perfect way to save this code why did I use this extension dot C because the code is in C language very simple logic the code is in C language that why that's why I save it in the dot C extension alright so just save it here so you will see yourself on this result that is LED blinking dot C what does this statement mean the statement simply means that yeah 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 yes yes now you can see here that the folder that you have created on the desktop that is 8051 in this this whole code uh, with the extension dot C has been saved very very safely alright so now go on to the target button here on the left side press the plus sign you will find yourself on the source group one right click on it add existing files to the CC now select the file which you have already saved a few seconds ago written as dot C so just select this file okay and press add okay that's added so now so to double check it so you can again press add so that to be on a safer side and then close it alright so now the next step would be what the next step is very simple what we are gonna do in the next step is right now press alter plus F7 uh, you must be thinking how did this dialog box appear we don't want the dialog box isn't it so cancel it again press F alter and F7 now that's what we wanted go into the output section enable this command create hex file so that your hex file will be con will be created now and just press ok don't look anywhere else if you are very much if you have much of the curiosity in you you can have a look on all these buttons here okay just press okay okay so now you have to compile this code to check if there is an error or not press F7 what do you have to press F7 here we go I have pressed F7 here is the building the target and it's created a hex file alright now the building time has been zero 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 three seconds that is three milliseconds all right that's good so what do we have to ne do next okay so we have done this this so this is the end of part one so in the part two I'll be telling you how to dump the hex file into the 8051 by using the Arduino software so stay tuned for my next part